Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another daily video. Uh, what I'm going to be doing in this video is I want to do a few summons. Actually, I don't have a lot of summons, but I do have some rebirths that I can do. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the new Colossus dungeon and the changes that might be coming to um, taunt monsters because taunt is actually going to get buffed very, very soon. So I think it actually brings a lot of like you know cool cool things you might be able to do in like maybe pvp and also they stated that taunt might actually be needed to do the colossus dungeon so i this is just me predicting the future based on just some like a the little bit of information that i got from the de developers notes um i also talk a little bit about my housing situation at the very very end of this video if you're interested and stay that long so first things first i'm gonna yeah let's just let's just summon Let's just do this uh do this free egg i think i have some arena eggs i can summon as well and i have some rebirths that i want to do um so actually i don't have a lot i, I really don't have any like eggs to summon because I, I don't farm golems at all and um but I, I might have some arena eggs i think arena i have 500 so i can do like one two 450 yes i can do exactly enough to summon all the arena eggs oh no my my room is full but you know what that means i have stuff to rebirth all right we're just gonna feed these cosmos in because um because they're taking up too much room all right they're taking up way too much room We'll need these, we'll need the Mihos. Come on, variant. Oh man. Oh wait, 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 no, that's not a variant. I was actually uh thinking about the uh I was I was looking at the variants, I was thinking variant. Now, how many Gemini's do I have now? I think I have quite a few. Three, four, five, and then let's let's hope this one comes out as a variant. I actually do need some variant cocos to make some of my cocos variants. Uh, I've been I've been trying this like the strategy. Well, it's not really a strategy, but it's something that a lot of people do. Basically, what you do to um, what you can do is you can if you want to participate in the rebirth festival, which is which happens every single month. Um, it happens twice a month, usually at the beginning of a month and at the middle of a month. Um, it happens during the time of Heroes Festival. In the the Rebirth Festival basically you feed four, three four stars in, and it, it has a chance to give you uh, one of five four stars. So for the uh, the, the past Rebirth monsters were the were the Thors and the Verdes. Let me just like the Thors over here um, and the Verdes, which are which are these ones, and. There's if you if you put variants in as your fusion as your rebirth material, there's a five percent chance per variant for you to get a variant. So if you put in three variants, there's a fifteen percent chance that the rebirth will come out as a variant. So a strategy to actually try to get a variant or a leader or variant um, version of the rebirth monster would be to actually put in three variants and try to try and see if that works and if you have any extra like like gemini's um, that you don't really need that are left over you can actually evil to them with a variant gemini that you caught and make them into a variant and you can save them for the next rebirth festival hopefully that they don't change this because if they do i'm just i would i would have just wasted a whole bunch of a uh, <laughs> whole bunch of resources and stuff Maybe I shouldn't be saying this on video. Wait for next Rebirth Fest. Um, I've been trying to get a few more variant ver Verdes. I think I do want four in total, like fire ones. So I can put one on each each of my um, teams. And I'll, I can also use them in additional teams. I'm not too sure. I don't think I need that many variants. Maybe two is enough. Maybe I can save them for Thors in the future. Thors do have defense lead, so that's also pretty nice. Um, I don't have a variant Thor yet. You can do the same thing with the Cocos. I've been doing that with the Cocos as well. I actually didn't do it to the dark cocos because i've been meaning to keep these um i don't know exactly how many i'll need but i think i might need like eight or so if i if i can like if i have like all the resources in the world i'll i'll raise like eight cocos and um you know use them all for for titans i, I do have a few more cocos here as well and i, I have a few more gemini's that i can um feed into variants these two actually came out as variants also i was actually pretty lucky um yeah so that's just a little little tiny tip 
for those of you that like have enough monsters to actually do that. Now the other thing I wanted to do in this video is talk a little bit about um, the upcoming changes to Taunt. Now they're, what they're doing with Taunt is basically Taunt is also going to be um, giving an attack down. I'm not sure if this is going to be able to s you're, you're going to be able to stack this with attack down but if you can it actually will be really really nice. Um, currently there are not a lot of monsters with taunts with reliable taunts a lot of monsters some monsters do have like aoe taunts on their second skill like this you know 80 percent he's definitely a really good monster maybe um i'm not too sure if they they require single target taunts or aoe taunts um in the future but there are quite a lot of single target um taunters that i've been looking at if you need some like reliable taunting like every single turn um the fire victoria is probably the most reliable one she has a hundred percent chance to taunt for one turn um, it's based on crit, so you will need to get her to 100% crit, but, you know, potentially, you can have 100% crit. She also has very, very good stats. You know, if you look at her stats right here, it's very, very nice. Um, there's also... What else is there? There's also the... Uh, Oh, there, wait, where is he? All right, there, there's the Fire Shelly. The Fire, Fire Shelly has probably the best taunt in the game. 100% uh, chance for two turns without you need, needing to boost anything. But the problem with the Shelly is its stats are really, really bad. Like it, it, It's a three-star monster, and some of its stats went into attack, which you probably don't need for like a full um, defense monster. But he has balance type, so he's not really a tank type monster but he does have a two turn taunt so maybe depending on, depending on the situation maybe this is a more reliable monster we'll see in the future um i'm not sure if i have a fire shelly i probably shouldn't have fed mine away after I, after i read about the update for water there's actually two monsters that are really really good one is the water tiger um he's a defender he's he's got 3k defense and also he's got like a bit of HP, uh, recovery is a little bit too high, so his stat stat distribution isn't too good. But he does have a 70% taunt and a 70% um, death down for two turns. And also, if you can get get a variant, he also has a attack leader skill. So, like attack leader skill is pretty much useful, um, pretty much everywhere. So I think he's definitely going to be pretty nice. Um, the other one is the where is it? Is the is the water Leo? And the Water Leo probably has, like, the Water Leo has much better stats, uh, mostly HP. Defense is a little bit too, little bit low. Um, he has a little bit of attack, so he, he will be able to do a little bit of damage. He has a superior taunt with 80% for one turn. He also has a stun, but I don't think stun is going to work too well, you know, against bosses and stuff. Now, we don't know exactly if taunt is going to be able to stack with attack down, but you actually might be able to, you know, I'm... I'm guessing, all right. I'm predicting that what they're gonna planning plan to do with the Colossus. I could be a hundred percent wrong, but um, I'm pl I'm thinking that what they're gonna be doing with the Colossus is if you, it requires you to have taunt, the Colossus might have like a very hard hitting um, first skill, like a single target skill, where you normally like if you were to um, get hit with an attacker or something like that, it you pretty much would die immediately or something. Um, and also, like you know maybe you can't like you have to like maybe it's going to hit so damn hard that <laughs> you need to like use elemental disadvantage plus the taunt attack down and everything in order to for your units to like survive and stuff um so i think that's where one of the reasons why like you might possibly that, that they say that you you might possibly like need taunt in order to um do the dungeon because if you were to put like a monster uh, a tank with elemental disadvantage against the boss then the boss might actually just like one shot your monster or something like that um so i think you, you basically they're making it so you need to stack the taunt plus the attack down maybe taunt stacks with attack down i'm not too sure maybe just the taunt is enough maybe it doesn't stack with attack down but you need to stack that with elemental disadvantage plus like maybe defense buff or something like that in order to um do the colossus dungeon hopefully the colossus dungeon isn't too hard it's something that you can auto and um you know if that's the case then it's a it actually is is probably better um for wood there actually is no no single target uh taunters there really isn't like at least no nothing reliable because you know, if you go down with to three stars, um, their stats are really, really bad. And if if I'm right about how it requires you to have like really, really good stats, then 
you know, you're, you're kind of fucked for wood. Um, the only taunter we we could like reliably use is wood Mona, but it's on, it's on her second skill. She actually has pretty nice base stats. It's pretty pretty nice for a three star. Uh, most of her distribution went into attack and it went into uh, d HP and defense. So she's definitely really really tanky. She also has self sustain. So can't really complain too much about that. The problem is there's no there's no four star wood monsters with taunt. So we're I'm not too sure what we can do for the wood element um, in the future. Now for light and dark, the, there's a very very strong taunt monster for light. Um, the the light Miho, she has a 60% chance to taunt, but she does have the skill book, which makes her skills upgradable to 80%. Um, with the skill book, she's also going to be doing more damage because you know the the damage increase. Um, she also has attack down with taunt, so she pr pretty much has like the perfect um, defensive leader skill. Her attack down also lasts three turns, so that's also very, very nice. Um, Stat-wise, she's very, very good. Uh, she is a nat 4 monster, light dark nat 4 monster. I would have preferred if she didn't have this much recovery and had a little bit more HP or, or defense instead, but can't really complain too much because she does have over 3k, uh, 30k HP and 3k defense. So, And she also has 2k attack, which you know it's not too bad because you can upgrade her attack with her like her overall damage with her skill books so that's actually pretty nice um so i think she might be probably one of the best if not the best taunter like with first skill like reliable taunter in the game after the change um you know hopefully 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 it works for dark there's not really that many um i know there's a dark vampire he has an aoe taunt but you know it's it's on his second skill there's no taunt monster um no AO, no dark taunt monster with taunt on first skill um at least nothing that nothing that can survive because like this is just gonna get like melted or something if you try to use this as a, as a tank um but he, he does have like a taunt and attack down it's only 40 percent, so it's not too reliable um yeah and, and I'm, I'm not sure if you want to use like a tank with elemental disadvantage against the boss so maybe in that case if you just want an elemental neutral tank you're probably better off using the light miho now some people don't have this because this is a monster from previous events um if you fed her or didn't grab her then you know that's just it's just sad all right i i have nothing to say um so yeah that that's pretty much it that that is that is pretty much it for um you know the top monster review now yeah i think i think that's 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 it for this video i i didn't really have um you know all that much to say there there aren't too many taunt monsters in the game i'm basically just chilling now waiting for the update to hit hopefully before the 22nd i will be able to um you know have everything ready now to update you guys a little bit on my situation right now um uh, in my my real life like in real life situation i i moved to a new house um this is not actually my room my permanent room um this is a, another empty room that they decided they decided to rent out this room was actually 400 dollars. i rented the room beside this one for 380 and um they're currently in the middle of putting in new walls so it's going to take it's going to probably take one or two days before i can move into that room and i also need to uh set up my computer my pc because my pc is not it i basically when i moved from taiwan to canada i took apart my pc and uh, basically wrapped up all the parts put it in my suitcase and, and carried it here so i have all my parts uh, all my pc parts right here besides my case i did not have a pc case so um, if I order online, it's probably going to take quite a while to get here. So I'm actually going to go look around today to see if I can buy a PC case and just, you know, carry it all the way home. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. Um, just got a few things to take care of. You know, I'm just a little bit busy, uh, just these few days before I get settled in. And once I do get settled in, I will be able to start, um, start some new things, start, start some really, really new, interesting things. Um, I have this little project um, related to MSL Underworks. It's called Project Ether. I'm not gonna say too much about it here, but um, you know, after I get settled in, I will be able to basically start up this project. I'm, it's gonna be like a com community-based project where I want to get as many people as I can to come in and con contribute and work together. Uh, it's gonna be like really, really big. It's gonna be 
it's gonna be pretty awesome so yeah that's that's pretty much it for for now uh, i'm sorry the video that was is a little bit shorter than usual i don't have that much time right now but hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out